What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you guys about medical parts and how confusing it can really be to technicians and to users more specifically. But I have the perfect example and this morning I'm trying to find batteries for some ventilators and the problem is is that there's so many sources for batteries and the prices are all over the place and some of those prices I think they're smoking crack. I think some of these people are just a little bit crazy. And uh, other ones, they're more realistic, to be honest, because lithium ion batteries, like the ones found in the V60, they're not that special. A lot of people think that things like power tool batteries are expensive because it costs like $80 for a pack, and oh my god, it's, it's insane. However, if you think about how much more durable and how hard those batteries are run on power tools, they're actually just as safe, if not more durable, than medical batteries. But it still doesn't explain why medical batteries are so incredibly expensive. So let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what I'm talking about. I've got some examples pulled up here. Am I going crazy? What do you guys think? Let's do this. All right, so one of the first ones that I was checking on was over here this is for a v200 you know that's actually pretty ex accepted these individual cells right here they are very expensive they're like 12 to 16 dollars per battery and there's a whole bunch of them in here and it's a 24 volt 8 amp hour i think these are 12 volt batteries or 6 volts so they're in a parallel series configuration probably depend on the voltage of the battery cells I don't have that much of a problem with that battery, although it still seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> let's let's switch over to some of the other ones. Okay, so here is a $595 V60 battery here. It, it appears to be in stock, and it doesn't say if it's OEM or not. First problem is it should say that it is OEM, right? It should. There, sh there needs to be a clear definition to whether or not it's an OEM part or it's an aftermarket part. I do think that that is a huge, huge problem in our community. So here's the thing. If they're selling a non-genuine OEM part, I think that it needs to be clearly labeled. FDA needs to get on that. This is, this is one of those things that I actually kind of side with the OEMs on, is that people could be misled to thinking they're getting an equivalent part when in fact they might not be. However, with batteries, lithium batteries, there's not so many companies actually making those in the world, just to let you guys know, and it's probably an equivalent part. So, first gripe is that they're not clearly labeling parts whether or not they're OEM or not. Uh, the other complaint that I have if you take a look right here, it does give a part number. It doesn't give the voltage and the amp hour of this part. If you are selling batteries, you need to have the voltage and the amp hour of the part. That is an equivalent between components. So if I'm buying something over here, I see that this item, yeah, they have a certain quantity in stock. That's awesome. Again, right there, you got 14.4 volts, 17 amp hours. 17 amp hours? Really? Guys, good on them for putting a voltage in amp hour. But really? It almost looks like it says 11 amp hours right there. You see that? That does not look like it says 17. It looks like 11. The reason I'm so shocked at 17 amp hours is because finding that amount of energy density in the same four factor is going to be really difficult. Yeah, they're pretty stuck on it. 17 amp hours. I dig that. However, uh, it does not say that it's an OEM or non OEM battery. It says Philips Respironics, which makes me assume it's OEM. Look down there in the image. You can clearly see in the corner right here, made in China. I don't know if that's where the original, Phillips batteries are made or not. However, that leads me to think that this is not an OEM battery. That's just my assumption. 
And if it's made in China, that would also give explanation to why they say 17 amp hours. 17 amp hours, I just don't see how they can almost double the energy density. Here is actually a pretty good listing. Although, look at the prices, guys. We started off here, we're at $595. Now we're at $187. Now we're at $929. And look, this is the actual OEM battery capacity, 11 amp hours. And it says, buy Philips Healthcare. So it says, new OEM original outright. Part Source is actually doing this correct. Good on them. I, I like that. I like that they have their prices pretty well defined. It is an extremely expensive battery. I don't understand that. Philips, bad on you. And Part Source, I mean, you're obviously going to sell it with margin and whatnot. But, geez, $1,000 for a battery. When the Chinese can make the same battery and profit at $125 an hour, doesn't really make sense to me. Here we have on eBay of all places, you can see that they say genuine part for Philips Respironics. You can see that it is a part that's labeled by Philips. It's assembled in Mexico. You can clearly see that right here. I don't know if the original Philips batteries are assembled in Mexico, but the Philips Respironic V60s are so prevalent that it is possible that this is a fake part that's right it could be a counterfeit and that we have found pretty often on ebay now it does have an interesting price on there i don't know um i'm i'm kind of curious again it doesn't say the voltage and or the amp hour but here you can see that it does have the original correct ratings i don't know the cabling looks okay the clip looks original. I would assume that this is not a counterfeit part. However, I could be wrong. So that's the eBay listing. That one appears to be a very attractive price. Now take a look at this. This is innerlightus.com. These guys have just lost their gourd. It is over double the part source price. So part source who has probably the leading market share in the country these guys have just absolutely lost their gourd now if these guys are selling mainly to u.s government or something then they need to be sued by the government <laughs> so this one here is 11.5 amp hour 14.4 it does not say it's an oem it says replacement for phillips batteries there is no original photo of the part they have the most expensive price. I, I don't know, guys. This is why it gets very confusing. Obviously, I'm never going to buy from these guys. Even if the part was, say, an OEM, there's no way it's double the price, over double the price. Those guys are just, just losing their minds. And then we come over here to an Amazon listing. Interesting enough, this is probably more accurate considering the form factor and the probably a realistic production cost of these batteries. It appears to have a similar Molex style connector. This is a different material than the OEM. You've seen the OEM one um, up here. It's a white style connector. And over here, you can see it's a white plastic connector and you can see that it's actually pretty hefty. You see on the retaining clip right there? right here it looks like it's pretty hefty this one here looks like a well it's obviously a uh, reproduction the wires look like pretty similar gauge but this is like the old style molex um, it's a different color material you can see it's labeled 14.4 volts uh, 11 amp hours lithium-ion it looks like a good battery pack I mean I'd be really curious to uh, grab one of these and open it up. Clearly made in China. You can tell by Shenzhen down here. I don't know. We'd have to weigh the battery to find out, you know, because that's a pretty good condition of uh, lithium ions. You can weigh them. And obviously the heavier battery has more energy density than others. But if I were to weigh this battery pack here 
and this one right here, I bet you they're similar. See that? They're very similar. Look at the wire gauge on this one, though. Take a look at the wire gauge. You see a couple of those wires, which are just probably signal wires anyway. Look at how small they are. And the only large conductors on there, it appears to be one red conductor and one black conductor. The other ones are half the gauge. They do that as a cost cutting. On the OEM, which is not a really good view. I don't know if this is OEM or not. It's on eBay. This one here, it appears that they're all close to the same diameter on the part source. Yeah, see? Darn it. So this, this one here is a span battery. I'd love to buy one of each and open them up. Give you guys a look inside, maybe to see what type of battery protection circuits one might have versus the other. But I don't have the budget for that, unfortunately. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you some listings out there, what to look forward to. They're very confusing. Some of the materials appear to be different. The form factor. Now, if there's a red flag, if they're all at about 11 amp hours and one says like, hey, I can squeeze an extra amp hour in there. I don't believe that because they it's a lithium polymer battery. They squeeze almost as much in there as they can for the form factor, which is the size. <laughs> So one of them says it's almost a half an amp hour more than the others. It's possible, I guess. But um, the other one that said it's 17 amp hours, no way. I don't see how that's possible. Counterfeit part. The other ones that don't have pictures of the part that you're going to receive, come on. They should always have a photo of the part that you're buying, always. And... The one that I've seen that was up there on part source, that's a horrible photo. Come on, part source, you gotta do better. We need we need clear photos that we can zoom in on. I wanna see that connector and I wanna make sure that it's the same color and the same size and the same material as the battery I'm taking out of the medical device. Because there's a lot of counterfeit parts out there and they're only getting more and more to market. So that means areas like eBay and Amazon, I don't normally trust them, except for the listings that I showed they're clearly not trying to be OEM listings, except for maybe that, that one that was on eBay. But remember, guys, energy density, you have to have it listed on the, the listing. It's got to have the voltage and the amp hour of the battery. And I need photos. I need photos. You've seen some of the materials are different. And I need to prove that the form factor is the same. If I can't do that, then I'm not buying. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think down below. In the comments but uh, this is getting to be a big problem with medical parts and uh, just remember guys you you get what you pay for right although $160 lithium polymer battery is still incredibly expensive and I don't know if they're putting battery monitoring chips inside those or not maybe I'll buy one and take a look anyway that's it guys let me know what you think thanks for watching